morning. Um, let me begin by thanking Reverend Jackson um, for the honor of coming here and delivering my presentation. On a personal note, um, of course, most people will know that um, when my dad um, passed away in 2013, Reverend Jackson called the family and prayed for us. So, or in your debts, thank you. Um, first slide, please. So my company is African Integrated Development um, Enterprise, um, and that's my bio. I think we can move on. Um, I'm going to focus on healthcare. I think that we've talked a great deal about different sectors, but healthcare for me is my area of expertise, but also I think is one of the most important areas. Next slide, please. I'm going to do a quick overview of what's going on in Africa. So we all know that the pressures of uh, increasing populations will drive demand um, for improved health care uh, across the continent. The need for this for high quality health care, not just health care, um, but high quality health care is stronger than ever and expected to grow. And we know that about 1.3 billion people will live on that continent by 2050. And um, within the next decade or so, we're going to be spending $30 billion on healthcare infrastructure in Africa. It's going to be targeted mainly on, on some of the um, you know, structural components of the health sector, uh, the physical plants, um, hospitals, clinics, etc. But also pharmaceutical. And another area that we don't have time to get into is insurance. Demand um, for in a variety of sectors. Next slide, please. It's also been named a mint nation now, because of some of the declining um, returns in the so-called BRIC nations. Um, if you notice, BRICS was the initial um, you know, acronym, and all of a sudden, S was dropped, South Africa, and people stopped talking about that. And so we need to remind people it's not BRIC, it's BRICS with an S, so that we can put our brothers back in that acronym. Um, so Nigeria is now part of mint with Mexico, Indonesia, Nigeria, Turkey. This is being um, pulled uh, forward by Michael Andrew, the global chairman of KPMG, who believes that these are the nations to watch. Um, this is the new horizon, exciting new countries to keep an eye on. Next slide, please. Um, so I'm going to stop here. The next uh, part of my talk, I will talk specifically about our project uh, in Abuja. Thank you.